It is every pitcher's worst nightmare. Throw, contact, and then pow. Oh, goodness. The lights go out. The only thing that went through our head for the rest of that game was, is Tori okay? To see that happen and to not know if she's okay, yet still try to play in the moment, it's like, what's more important? Like, my teammates' health, my friends' health, or like trying to focus in the Super Regionals. It was definitely like one of the scariest moments of my life and one of the most traumatizing, I guess, still, because it's something you look back on and it was scary. Tori Finucane experienced the nightmare last spring against UCLA in the Super Regionals the trauma of a comebacker that left her in a total daze. I don't remember throwing a pitch or getting hit and a few moments after that, I just remember um, trying to reach out for somebody and it happened to be our trainer at the time, Dan. And so that was like my first feeling of like, okay, like I'm okay, you know, everything's gonna be all right. And the world was just spinning. It was like stars and black. And um, that's like the first thing I actually do remember. Hard to believe from watching this video, but the damage of the impact was minimal. Only a minor concussion. But it was a close call in the purest sense, and it left Fanukin rattled. Because it was about an inch away from possibly being fatal, because it hit not straight on, it was off the side and um, like an inch away from the temple, and so that's why it was so, like, could have been so traumatic. Softball isn't supposed to be life and death. Fanukin's recovery would be far more about the mental side than the physical. I just remember being just so scared, like, every day on the field, like I was just petrified. I just remember like my breathing was off, I was shaking, uh, nothing felt right. I remember not even wanting to throw a strike just because I didn't want to put it anywhere where they could hit it. And that was kind of the trend like throughout the, the fall just because I was trying to get over that. I'm like, dude, like you're doing all that you can. Like be patient, that's tough. You took a line drive to the head, like be patient with yourself. It's gonna take a lot of time. But persistence, a protective mask, and plenty of mental coaching have helped Fanukin overcome her fear, setting her up for success in the game she's loved her entire life. I know that I can get over something this big and that, yeah, it might take some time, but my team and my coaches have been incredible. If it were me and that happened, I would be nervous every time a line drive got hit past me. Like, that's normal, that's a normal reaction. But to watch her fight through that and get better and um, not let it really phase her is uh, pretty awesome to watch. I'm excited, like I feel calm and ready and just ready to get back on the dirt. And get back to doing all the things that made Tori Fanukin so good in the circle.